Hey everybody, do you know what time it is? It's time for some more Let's Play Pikmin. Yesterday, we went to the Force of Hope for a second time. We got two ship parts, and we built up our Pikmin army a tiny bit. And today, we're going to head to a brand new area we unlocked yesterday, the Force Naval. So, my goal for today is to get four ship parts in this new area. That's actually a pretty reasonable goal, because there are three ship parts that are, like, around the same area. And then there's a fourth one that we can get reasonably easy. Now, the interesting thing about this area is that it's actually possible to get five ship parts in this one day. And I've actually been able to pull it off before, but I don't remember which ship part you're supposed to get fourth. So, alright, so we want to get about 80 will do. Yeah, 80 is a pretty good number. So we want to get 80 red Pikmin out. Yellow Pikmin are completely useless for now. We don't want them right now. Come on, hurry up. Okay. And now we're just going to have these guys work on this gate while we accomplish our second goal of the day, which is to discover blue Pikmin. Yeah, spoilers, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal, really. Really? Really? Okay. It's right down here. So this blue onion is in the water, so maybe these blue Pikmin are able to go in water. I can't think of a better way to word that, but I haven't really been able to show it off yet. But red and yellow Pikmin cannot go in water. They will just freak out, and if you don't come out of the water quickly, they will drown and die. So yeah, that's not a fun time. <laughs> Bless me. Pluck. Is that pluck? Oh, he looks so happy! Actually, it kind of looks, looks like he's frowning. Oh. So this blue Pikmin has a mouth, whereas the red Pikmin had a nose and the yellow Pikmin had ears. It is a Pikmin of yet another color. Near this one's cheek is what appears to be a set of gills, so it can go underwater. There's only one. So can it go underwater? There's only one way to find out. I will have used A. Yeah, we already got all that. Thank you for going over the controls a third time. Okay, so in this area, there's a very obnoxious enemy, the bread bug. And the way you want to handle him is you want to trick him into getting a pellet, like this one. He's going to turn around. Yes, he is. Okay. We want to get a second Pikmin really quickly. Come on. Sprout, 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 sprout! No, that's not what I wanted. Come on. Okay, he didn't get too far. <laughs> l l luckily for us, he's retarded. So the way you want to handle the bread bug is... Are you going to grab that? Really? The way you want to handle the bread bug is that he will go after pellets and enemies and other things. That, oh my god, are you serious? Get the damn pellet! Thank you. Okay. So yeah, the bread bug will go after pellets and enemies that you can use to harvest more Pikmin. And he'll try and bring it back to his own base. And the bread bug, if you manage to kill it, it will actually give you an optional ship part. So we want to make sure we kill him. And the most efficient way of killing him is to trick him into grabbing a pellet like this and then having two Pikmin carry it back and then you see when he goes up he will take a lot of damage. And now finally, we'll just have the water, do you want to finish him off really quickly just by throwing a Pikmin on him? Here, we can distract him with this. And hit any of those. You want to make sure he's out of the water for this because the ship part he drops does need 25 Pikmin and we're not going to have 25 blue Pikmin to carry that. Not throw is going to be. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can just come with Walmart. Nah, that's not gonna work. Okay, come on. I normally don't have this much trouble with the bread bug. This is normally a really easy enemy to kill. Come on. This thing's being annoying. Holy crap. Okay, well, we could hollow over our red Pikmin and have them take him out. This should be fun. There we go, we finally got him. Okay, and he's gonna drop that ship part. The space float. And we're just gonna have our Pikmin take that back really quickly. Alright, we wanna have a few left over to take back another ship part here. 21 will do. 21 will do just fine. Okay, I'm just gonna leave these guys up here for now. So yeah, we wanna try and focus on our blue Pikmin once again. Um, you're still there? Okay. We wanna get about 15 blue Pikmin. That's a pretty reasonable number. I normally get a 19, but that's because I normally get the red bug back into the onion, but the red bug kind of wandered too far away for that, so not a big deal. We just want to get at least 15 blue Pikmin. That's all we need. Stop. I mean, I'm trying to mash the A button, you know, so that we can plug them faster, but that's not working. That's kind of odd. There we go. And is there another pellet we can use? Okay, good, there is. Because with that blue pellet, we would have been one short of 15. There we go. So, yeah, um, this has been a very frustrating day to record. This is actually my fourth take. The first take, I recorded the entire day. 
And then, oh, what was wrong with that? Oh yeah, at the very end, I accidentally left behind 40 Pikmin, so I decided to re-record that. The second take, it was going really well, it was, it was going extremely well, but halfway through, my computer crashed. And then the third take was just a few moments ago, the bread bug got too far away, and I honestly didn't feel like messing with it, so. An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this, but my motto is always be prepared, really, it's just for emergencies. And I now have 7 out of 30 parts, okay, that's pretty good. And we're about to get two more, actually. We seem to pluck more blue Pikmin. Now, uh, the part that we're gonna get with the blue Pikmin is, like, one of the easiest parts in the game to get. I really think they should have, like, thought this out more, because you're gonna see how easy it is to get the ship part. All we need to do is have our blue Pikmin come around here. Oh, no, don't, no, don't mess with that, please. No, no, no. Fine, I'll bring you with me, god. We just want the red Pikmin over here, away from anything else. Okay. Now with our blue Pikmin, we're gonna just hop down here. And we can very easily throw our Pikmin down onto that ship part over there. I'm not sure if you can do this in the GameCube version. You may need to get down there and do it yourself. Like, you know, throw them. But even if you do, you can just go up. So yeah, that's a bit faster. Now, with our red Pikmin here, we're going to get this other ship part. Way up here. Third one in a row. Like I said, there's like three ship parts right, right next to each other. There we go. And I'm pretty sure that ship part only needs 15 Pikmin to get. So, oh god. That's not good. Now there's some enemies that spawn down here, and they can be quite a nuisance. But it's not looking like we'll have to deal with them. And that little stick they build, that's just a bridge that they can use to get across. I kind of failed to mention that. Oop, I didn't mean to call them. Are they up there? Oh yeah, that's right, I can zoom out. Okay, they're good. I really hope those enemies don't spawn. They would get in the way quite a bit. And it's looking like we're good. Oh, that's a very odd way to carry it. Automatic gear. This thing chugs right along at its own pace. It makes piloting much easier, giving me time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. <laughs> Look at that Pikmin trying to carry it. <laughs> it looks so derpy. I've, I've never seen a Pikmin jump up on its own. It looks kind of cool, but okay. Anyway. We have more serious things to worry about. Like what we're going to do next, now that we have the blue Pikmin carrying that jet back, and we have the red Pikmin carrying that back. What should we do now? We can pluck these Pikmin that I didn't want to be grown. Pikmin always find a way to get some pellets somewhere and they bring them back. It's really annoying. Okay, so... Where's the jet? Did they not make it back? No, they're on the way. Okay. Actually, they're right down here. We can have a red Pikmin carry him. We're gonna help him out, so... Yeah, so far so good. We... Just about have three ship parts and we're at about noon. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um... I guess while they're carrying those ship parts back, it wouldn't hurt to hop down here and get some nectar first. I want to do that. Oh, lots of nectar. Awesome. Much obliged. Okay, so with these fire Pikmin, we're just gonna very quickly come down here and have them work on this bridge over here. There we go. And yay! Second ship part. The Pikmin always seem so happy when they carry a ship part back. I don't know why. Like, it's not helping them at all. It's helping us. If this is damaged, I'll be in dire straits. I will have to run a system check as soon as I can. I now have recovered 8 out of 30 ship parts. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so they're working on that. And talk about a straggler. <laughs> okay. And then that space float should be just... Uh, not that space float. The automatic gear. Yeah, I've recorded this episode four times now. So I have a pretty good sense of what all the ship parts are called. It's rather sad. Uh, we have a lot of leaf Pikmin here. Why don't we try and get some more nectar? Oh, there's actually some right over here. This enemy, if you manage to hit him, he will actually drop some nectar for us. Very convenient indeed. Automatic gear. It has thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill him with dirt. I hope it will be alright. I guess that could work. Whatever. Not like... Yeah, that's the second plot line of the game. We need to try and fix our minute gear. Totally. Okay, so. See how many. We wow, I got two out of that. A oh, five. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm bad at counting. And. Yeah, I don't feel like getting more nectar, honestly. We have not been getting very lucky with nectar. Hey, look, more nectar. I feel like getting nectar now. Nectar, 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 nectar. Blah, blah, blah. So getting leaf pick or fly pikmin through just growing them in the ground is kind of out of the question, if you ask me. It just takes too long and it's a waste of time. The most efficient way is to just use Nectar. It's everywhere, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so we got our 99 Pikmin. Now I'm thinking we're gonna have our blue Pikmin 
work on this bridge while we go to war with our Red Pikmin. By that I mean, there's a whole bunch of enemies on here that the Red Pikmin can fight very easily, so we're just gonna have seven or eight Red Pikmin fight each one. These are called Fire Blow Hogs, and basically they blow fire. And one thing they'll do is like they'll whip your Pikmin around, so you wanna make sure they're not facing water, cause then they'll whip the Pikmin into the water, and that's not good. Here we go, now there is one Fire Blow Hog that's like by the water. That I decide not to fight you this one. You don't want to fight that one because it will probably aggro that Wally Wog. You see that thing over there? Yeah, that's that's annoying. You don't want to fight that. So, do we have anybody fighting you? Oh, that's right, that's the one I don't want to fight. Okay. Um, so far it's going pretty good. What I like to do is like zoom out and it, it, it just looks like a giant like battlefield. It just looks so cool. Okay, these guys finish up. You want to make sure they don't, they don't care about the Blow Hogs because they don't give you that many Pikmin. And also, I forgot to mention this. You will be getting a very good chance to grind Pikmin after this day. As soon as you discover Blue Pikmin, you want to head back to the Impact Site and you will get a very good chance to grind Pikmin. Very good chance indeed. So, don't worry about grinding Pikmin. That can wait. Alright, now... Oh god, I don't want to fight you. I'm just going to stay away from there, that, gen that general area. Seems like a good idea. Alright, so we want to have our Pikmin over here work on this bridge. I think you're kind of intended to have Yellow Pikmin do this, but it's just, it's just as easy with, you know, reds. I want to make sure everyone's working on this. And a glitch that I forgot to mention. When Pikmin are building a bridge, and there are Pikmin below the bridge, there's this weird glitch where they will sometimes die. I've never had a problem with this glitch, but apparently it's very annoying when it does happen, so I don't know. It's, it's never happened to me, so. No, we want to be careful with you. We want to be very careful with you. Alright, where's our other Pikmin? The blue ones are... Right, they just finished the bridge. Okay. Oh, they're still working on it. Okay, I can... Have you guys help out. There we go, we have a lot of Pikmin working on this. Oh god, my phone. Sorry about that, I had to go for like five minutes, my dad called, so yeah. Alright, so what were we doing? Um, What were we doing? Let's see. <laughs> like, I was, I was going for quite a while, so... Oh, that's right, we're getting our blue Pikmin, okay. Okay, so we're working on this bridge here, and this is going a lot better than my first take. And my first take, I was at this point, but I was a lot closer to nighttime, so... I was kind of panicking, and I started having my Pikmin work on that bridge over there. So that wasn't a good idea. But it's looking like today we'll have time to do that. We'll have time to finish both bridges here, and we'll have time to get this this treasure here. So, the ship part, not treasure. I'm pretty sure I've already said treasure instead of ship part. Because in Pikmin 2, there are treasures instead of ship parts. So if I say treasure, that's why. I found my gravity jumper. By manipulating the forces of gravity, this key component gives me the final boost I need to make the jump to super light speed. Good thing I found it. Good thing indeed. I'm starting to wonder, how did the ship parts get in this cave? Because obviously this is like a... Bless me, this is like a cave area. So how did some of these ship parts get down here? It's... I don't know. It's kind of derpy. Like, well, then again, trying to find logic in a Nintendo game. You know, not a good idea, but... You see, there are a lot of bombs here. So what we want to do is have our Pikmin work on this bridge here. So that the next time we come here, on day 7 or 8, like, whichever it is... I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 7, but when we come out here on day 7, we'll be, we'll be able to come out here with our yellow Pikmin and blow up a few walls. So yeah, and we have plenty of time, wow. I was at this point in my first recording, and I was like, like the, the countdown started, so I was really panicking. So yeah, this is going a lot better than that. A lot better indeed. So what else can I talk about today? Um, I've had so many failed recordings in this LP so far. Like, I've, I've had to re-record every episode at least once at this point. But um, I've had so many failed recordings, I'm not sure if I've talked about this yet. And I somehow managed to talk about the same exact thing I talked about in day three. It was about the, the how this is taking place in a post-apocalyptic Earth and all that crap. So that's why you're getting about 30 seconds of post-commentary here. <laughs> that's because that sounded really stupid in this recording. It was like 30 seconds of me like practically repeating the same exact thing I said in day three. It, it sounded pretty bad. So I figured this would be a better solution than to keep that live commentary in because... It was kind of humiliating. What was going through my head, honestly? Uh, whatever. So I think we got the ship part back, and post commentary ends in about five seconds. No, so we got that fourth part. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. We're doing really well today. Um, trying to think of other things we can do before we head out. Um, I don't think we have enough time to get that fifth ship part. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Okay, with the very little bit of time we have left, I think it'd be a very wise idea to get our yellow Pikmin, flower them up, and then have them blow up a few walls. So why don't we get on that? 
And then there is no danger in this, because I'll always have the Pikmin with me, so I don't have any Pikmin left on the field anywhere, so I'm not going to leave any behind. So yeah, this day went pretty well. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> Normally I don't do this well on this day. I don't know. Okay, so I think I'm just going to leave my blue Pikmin at base, that way they don't die. Put those away. Leave those here. And then I think we have like 30 yellow Pikmin. We're not going to need that many. We're only going to need like 10. I'll go over 15 just in case. Okay, I'm trying to decide which walls we should blow up then. Um, Oh, I have... Okay, I know which one we're going to blow up. We're going to blow up one that we actually don't need to blow up, but it would save a lot of time if we did so. So, can we get a little bit of nectar? Come on, running out of time now. I'm going to blow up some walls. Alright, fine. No nectar at all. Be that way. <laughs> That's frustrating. Okay. Let's get those bombs. This isn't the only bomb spawner in the area. It's just the easiest to get to. There's another one where we got the jet, I think. But... That's a little bit out of the way, and it involves a lot of maneuvering, so, yeah, I don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, we're running out of time. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do this now. Ugh. All of the bombs. Okay, we should have time to do this then. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Freaking stragglers. Don't, don't set my Pokemon on fire, that'd be horrible. Oh, I forgot about this enemy here. No! Blow it up! Okay, that's three bombs. So, when we come back here on day seven, it'll be almost dead. So, uh, that's pretty good, though. We are pretty good today, overall. I, we, we did a lot more than I thought we would do. We got the four ship parts, we got, we got blue Pikmin, and we started blowing down that wall. So that's going to help us a lot on day seven when we come back here. <sighs> okay, pretty well. This was a pretty good day. My computer hasn't crashed. I don't think so. Okay, it hasn't. <laughs> okay. And there's a Wally Wall that I decided not to fight. If you do leave Pikmin behind, you'll see them getting killed by enemies like that. It's, it's kind of neat. <laughs> it's, it's cool to see things die. Deep in the cave, I discovered the forest. Wait. <laughs> Deep in the cave, I discovered in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. We didn't lose any Pikmin today? That's awesome. We're doing pretty good so far in this playthrough. Except for the nectar, but... Bless me, next time let's play. Pikmin. We are going to head back to the impact site with our blue Pikmin. We're going to get the last ship part there, and we're going to grind up our Pikmin numbers. I'll see you guys then.